Today is a really exciting video because we're looking at this cool new gimbal ring from a company called Small Rig, and a lot of you already know Small Rig. So this is a carbon fiber gimbal ring, and initially it was made for the Juin Crane 3S, but luckily it works with a ton of other gimbals. For example, I have the Crane 2S gimbal rigged on this ring, along with the Sony A7S, and I change lenses between the Sigma 24 to 70 and Zeiss 16 to 35. Now, one of the biggest features about this ring is not that it's only carbon fiber, but the fact that you can hold it in so many different ways. I can position my hands basically anywhere I want, top, bottom, left, right. Oh, I almost fell off there, but don't worry, I got a helmet. That's what the helmet's for. But anyway, as you can see, one hand on each side, I can also change the grip, lower the gimbal if I want. So when I get off the unicycle, I'm gonna show you exactly how to properly hold this thing. But basically, you can hold it on the sides here with those little uh, you know, soft pads or soft grips that they put on here. Or you can hold it at the bottom. And this is really useful, especially when my hands get tired. So I can keep shooting even though my hands are kind of losing their strength. So I really like that. And on the top of the ring itself, there's actually a little indent which allows you to attach any other accessory or even a little handle which makes low angle shots a little bit easier. Now when you get this product, it is going to be split up into two different pieces, the upper portion and the lower portion. All you have to do is just screw them together. It's really simple. And on the bottom of the ring, we also have little support stands or feet. They're also adjustable and it will make the whole system lean either forward or backward depending on the orientation that you have. But I do love the quality of such a simple accessory for your gimbal. And don't forget the cool POV shots that you can get too with this ring. Woo! I love it. Compared to aluminum, carbon fiber is stiffer. For the most part, it is stronger and it is relatively lighter. So all in all, you are shedding off some weight when you're using this type of rig. Now this rig has a great quick release system. It's very similar to that of a quick release system on your tripod. All you have to do is attach the base plate to the bottom of your gimbal. There's actually little locking pegs on the quick release plate, so it locks right into your gimbal and it doesn't let you prematurely twist it so it won't loosen up while you're shooting. You can use a standard Allen key to attach it to the bottom of your gimbal, and it uses a 3 8 inch screw. Regarding stability, it definitely makes your gimbal shots more stable. Yeah, so for those of you who have an EV or some sort of electric vehicle, and you're using the small rig gimbal ring, you can get some really beautiful panning and tilting shots while orbiting at a really wide radius. Man, that type of technology is absolutely insane. I feel like professional Hollywood DPs are gonna request their camera ops to use this type of tech in the near future. So if you wanna learn a new skill, well, that electric unicycle might get you some jobs in Hollywood. So because the grip is wider, I can really do those dolly and tilt shots so much easier and smoother, no problem. I mean, I wish I had a better subject to shoot, but you just see how smooth it is? You can't really achieve that smoothness without this gimbal ring, or at least it takes a lot more effort to do so. And bro, the POV mode looks absolutely sick with this ring. I'm just changing my gravity from one side of the ring to the other side of the ring. And it just creates such a smooth POV shot that would be really difficult to get without this thing. Now, because the gimbal ring is pretty large, you might have some issues when getting low angle shots. The rig itself stands at a little over a foot and a half tall, so it's gonna be tricky to get really low down to the ground. One subtle drawback about this ring is that you can't really go low angle. That's about as low as I can get it. For some, it might be okay, but if you're trying to capture feet or someone's legs, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult, but at least you can get somewhat low angle, but just not too low angle. And if I hold it from the top like I am right now, you get really smooth orbits, really smooth. 
regarding the regular gimbal modes such as pan follow and full follow, this is absolutely beautiful. It really stabilizes my shots. And obviously since we are social distancing, I wasn't really able to shoot with the model in the park unfortunately, so I really didn't have too much of a subject to shoot with, but I think you kind of get the idea when you look at this footage at how smooth the shots can actually be. Another little drawback is that you won't be able to shoot in vortex mode because this will force the camera to point up and we have a bar going around the camera, so your camera is just gonna be on that bar. So if you do wanna use vortex mode, again, you should remove your gimbal from the ring. Now in vortex mode, you can't really do much because you can see that when I go into vortex mode, the camera points up and then it's just staring at the top of the ring the whole time, no matter what you do. So that's something that you can't really shoot with at least in that gimbal mode with this ring. Along with this gimbal ring being very versatile on how you can hold and operate your gimbal, you can actually add a ton of different accessories. For example, to shoot a lot of the BTS videos that I like to do, I actually used my Insta360 and this little clamp and I attached it to the gimbal ring. It's a lot easier to do this on a ring instead of mounting it directly on your gimbal. I just feel a lot more confident and it's so much easier to hold. So if you are a type of person who shoots long productions or if you need something that's easier to use with your gimbal and takes the stress away from your back or your hands for that matter, definitely consider getting a ring like this. Again, this is made by Small Rig, and I'll leave a link down below. I highly recommend this product. Besides shooting low angle or vortex mode, I really do think that this gimbal ring transforms the way we can shoot with our gimbals. And on top of that, I just think it's a really good thing to have, especially if you use an EV or an electric vehicle. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.